I have. Object groups. What are object groups? Say I have a firewall here. Okay. Firewall with this as the outside, this as the inside, and this as the DMZ. On the DMZ, I have three servers with different IPs. This is dot one, dot two, dot three. This is on my DMZ. Each server is running services, say three own, three services. What are those three services? Is running 23, 80, and say 25. All three are running the same three services. I have clients outside on the internet say I have one guy I sign up with this new company the public address of the company is 200.1.1.1 now since this is used this company monitors my traffic so I need to provide access to this company to all three servers to all three servers how many accesses do I need nine nine accesses why one will be from this source to with the port number second will be the same with the port number port number then two twenty three same port number port number uh, 25 and so and so forth how many total nine three per server three here three here three here nine access lists this is for what 200.1 how about I get another guy how many for that nine more so nine plus nine is 28 two three four how about I have three four partners dot five dot four dot three how many do I need? 45 access lists. For five partners, I would require nine per partner to let him come into my network, which is very hectic. It's not hectic in this way. It's hectic in another, another way. What is that problem? Say tomorrow 200.1.1.2 leaves. I have to remove those access lists. How do I go in? I have to go into my config T, then say, no access list 200, no access list from 201 to this. I have to remove all nine, one at a time. A hectic job in a production environment, if you know you have a lot of access lists, 100, 200 access lists are applied to the firewall because you apply, you run a lot of services through it. Right? So to remove it, something like that, this is impossible. Not impossible, it's hectic, cumbersome job. To simplify this, what they did was they said, all right, we, don't, we won't do it like this. We'll group objects together. We'll create groups. In groups, we'll keep different stuff. What do I mean by that? I'll have a group of partners, which will have all five partners. Three, four, and five. The object is called PN. I'll create another one which will be called servers, which will have dot two and dot three. And I'll create another one services, which will have port numbers twenty three, eighty, and twenty five. Let's try to group them first. Let's see how it works. Now, by default, you can group different things. You can group all of this together. You can also, first I grouped partners on the basis of IP addresses. 
that is called network grouping second i group based on port numbers that is called service port numbers are called services third grouping and fourth grouping there's more also two more there's one based on network called basically ip addresses the second is services based on port numbers <coughs> the third is protocols this is based on ip protocol number you can group protocols like icmp tcp and eigrp osp but not generally used more general these two are used there's also one more called icmp types which will group what icmp type 1 echo echo reply echo this and all of that will be grouped in one icmp echo type but not generally used also these two are mostly used let's try to group these together and see how it works okay i'll create a firewall now i won't implement this because there'll be a lot of access lists i'll just show you how to do this yeah it's it works on 8.2 also object groups works on a work on 8.2 as well as 8.4 enable right object group which type i told you all four types right the one which i want to use is network, network. for partners pn network object what is the i can specify all network or i can specify a host 200.1.1.1 200.2.2.2 i have grouped all my partners together in a group called pn now i'll group my servers object group network called servers the first server is host 10111111 10112 and 10113 grouped all my servers together then after object group right now i want service now specify the name of this service say i'll call it web these are all my web services and is it tcp udp or both it's tcp these are all tcp ports i can specify both then it's not network object for this it's port object port object either a range or equal to i'll do it as per equal to 1 is 80 23 and good now usually when i have access list i say access list permit source would have been 200.1.1.1 destination would have been 10111 and then 23 then another one like that here look at how my access list is going to be access list inf permit tcp this is tcp service my host will not be the host now what will this be what object group pn from outside to inside right pn destination will be what object group and equal to or i can just say object group which of the object group services what did i call it web right so simplified for me i don't have to type 45 access lists i just have to write one show run access list only one but check this out you might think okay this means less processing power on the router on the pics because less number of access lists that is not true check out your access list it automatically finds out the combinations from all of them and creates all of them along with the hit counts 
for each <coughs> protocol so it's easier for you to create it to create it it's easier but on the on the firewall it doesn't make much of a difference so it's similar but the concept behind object groups is what you have to understand you might ask tomorrow the question natting was so easy there why did they do with this with object groups also that one is also done with object networks why did they move on to object networks think about this now if a new partner comes in a new partner comes in tomorrow how do i have to add him all i need to do at that time is go inside my object network pn and say network object host everything else will automatically be done i just need to know the ip address of the partner right show run show access list check this out for six all nine access lists are automatically created removing now the partner 200.2 removes he doesn't have good terms with the company so i want to remove him so i'll say object network pn no network object host show access list two is gone same for service tomorrow one of the service on all my three servers goes down i just remove the service the services are removed that whole service will be removed from this i want to add another service tomorrow add it there it'll be allowed right they made it like that so that tomorrow because in a production environment this is what you have to do firewall is a stand alone device i've told you that 100 times it's a stand alone device you configure it once it does everything automatically except for one thing that you'll have to create access list remove access list and tomorrow add more servers to your network so my uh, tune the firewall with respect to those new servers right get a new server you'll have to do natting again for that server same concept will be applied we'll put them in object groups so when a new server comes in all i have to do is just put him in that server group he will automatically be natted so to do it in the beginning is hard it's all obviously easy to say access list this this is and done instead of creating object groups but it lays a framework for you makes it more scalable if there is a restriction for a different restriction that it will no it will, this won't work in that case this is done for if you have same policies for all the partners at that case you'll create a separate object group separate access list for different partners with different policies you'll have different access list or maybe you have different services so you'll create a different service which will only permit telnet and for so, so for them for those people you'll have only that service so you want to only permit telnet right for say 300 or uh, 300 2 110 210 these users you only want to permit them for telnet to all three servers to all three servers only telnet what will you do object net object group service telnet port object forgot to give the port name tcp service not service port object equal to 23 right and now these are different partners right these are different people so let's say these are uh, your it people because they want to tell net into those devices so it people from outside a different company i'll create another object group object group network it network object is what 210 network object host 210 dot and two companies so the access list will be access list inf permit tcp host will be it destination will be still the same servers but the service will be telnet 
So these people will only be able to telnet. Check this out. 201 going here for telnet, 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 and all these different combinations. So tomorrow IT one company goes goes down. You remove it. All three will be removed. Okay. That is object groups. Same concept is applied to a dot four. Good. More scalability. You have more scalability on it. Did everybody do their attendance? All of you? Good enough? That finishes your object.